Hello everyone, welcome to Formula Story. Today I'm gonna be discussing a method which will help you all to multiply two digit numbers in like three seconds. So let's begin. Now suppose you have to find the value of 21 times 41 and I give you like five seconds to find the answer. Well if you could find the answer then it's great but if you couldn't then let's look at this method. So to find the first digit of the answer we need to multiply the first digit of each number which is 2 times 4 which gives me 8. Then we leave a blank space for one more digit and to get the last digit of our answer we multiply the last digit of these numbers which is 1 into 1. So you will get 1. So our first digit is 8 and our last digit is 1. To get the mi middle digit we multiply the numbers in this order 4 into 1 and 1 into 2 and this product both these products we add them. So 4 into 1 is 4 and 1 into 2 is 2. So 4 plus 2 is 6. So 861 that is our answer. Let's look at another example. Now suppose if we have to multiply 52 times 33 then as I said to get the first digit of the number we multiply the first digit of both these numbers which is 5 into 3. So 15 will come here. Then to get the last digit we multiply 3 into 2 and before that we leave a blank space in between so to get the last digit we multiply 3 times 2 which is gonna be 6 now to get the central digit we multiply in this fashion 3 times 2 and 3 times 5 and we add both these products so 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 times 5 is 15 15 plus 6 is 21 so we got the sum as 21 okay so now we, in this blank we can fit only one digit which, is, which will be our units digit and the 2 will carry forward it ahead. So 1 will come here and the 2 will be carry forwarded here which will be added to 15. So our answer will be 1716. So the thing to notice here was we did the same thing as the previous example only the difference was that when we multiplied 3 times 2 and 3 times 5 and we, when we added it, we got a 2 digit number. So, since we had a space only for 1 digit in this blank, we carry forwarded the 2 ahead and we added that to 15 and got the final answer as 1716. Let's look at one more example to clarify the concept better. Now, suppose we have to find 83 times 48 which is a more complex multiplication. Then, as I said, First, to get the first part of our answer, we multiply the first digits, which is 8 into 4. So, we'll get, we'll get 32. Then, we'll leave a blank space in between. Then, to get the last part of our answer, we multiply the last digits, which is 3 into 8, which will be 24. So, again here, since we got the answer as 24, we'll have to carry forward the 2 ahead. Okay? So, after we're done with this, to get this blank digit, we multiply in this fashion 4 times 3 plus 8 times 8. 4 times 3 is 12, 8 times 8 is 64, 64 plus 12 is 76. So we'll be getting 76 here plus 2 here, which was carry forwarded. So that is 78. As I said, there's, a, there's space for only one digit here. So 8 will come here and the 7 will again be carry forwarded here. So 32 plus 7 will be 39 and rest will remain the same. 3984 which is our answer. One thing to notice here is that apart from the first part of the answer that we get, here we got the part as 32. Remaining in whichever part the answers that we get, if it's more than 9, then we carry forward the tens digit ahead. Suppose here we got the last part as 24, that's why we just kept the units digit at this place and we carry forward it 2 ahead. Then after doing 4 into 3 plus 8 into 8, we got 76 and we added 2 to that, we got 78. We just kept 8 here and we carry forward it to 7 ahead. And finally we added 7 to 32 to get our final answer which was 3984. So let's look at one last example. Suppose you have to find the value of 94 times 43. Then as I said, the first part of the answer will be 4 into 9 which is multiplying the first digits of both these numbers 
will be 36 and that remains unchanged like you don't need to carry forward anything here so 36 will remain as it is then we leave a blank space for one digit then the last part of the answer we get by multiplying the last digits which is 4 into 3 we get that as 12 so as i said since we've got 12 here we just keep the units digit and we carry forward the tens digit so we'll keep two here and we carry forward the tens digit which is one which will be added what we to the number that we get in this blank now we multiply in this fashion 4 into 4 plus 3 into 9 so 4 into 4 is 16 16 plus 3 into 9 27 27 plus 16 is 43 43 and since there is a one here we add that also so we get the answer as 44 now again since we can keep only one digit here we keep the four here and we carry forward the tens digit forward so the four will remain here and we carry forward the 4 here and we add that to 36. So our final answer will be 36 plus 4 which is 40 and the remaining part will be 4 2. So our answer is 4 0 4 2. So just practice a few more sums using this method and trust me people you will become really efficient at multiplying two digit numbers. So that's it people I will come up with more interesting videos. Till then do like my video and subscribe to my channel and also post your valuable feedback so that I can improve at my upcoming videos. Thank you.